Hey everybody, I'm Creep and this is my show and today I'm going on a plane to Minneapolis, Minnesota so I could go shoot uh, the bitch that cried wolf. So let's get there. <laughs> Minnesota, and there's Snowa, and there's now and Joa. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey! I think people are here. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's Joe. He's got muffins. Andrew, and he's got coffee. Yay. Are we ready for today? All the excitement? We're ready. Wow, this is pretty exciting. <laughs> hey, we're on the way to shoot on the first day at the junkyard. Yay. Yay. Can we see them back there? They're in the rear view. Oh, what's this? Slims, brought to you in yeah, part yeah, by. Slim. Where are you going? Where am I going? Yeah. I'm going to hell, or so I've been told. Okay, so this is Johnny. And Hello. In this, Johnny plays Billy. Tell us about Billy, Johnny. Billy, um, he's a complicated man. How so? Well, nobody understands it but his woman. Uh, you know, he's a low life scumbag. Criminal, um, you know, he's the number one guy in this uh, up and coming cr criminal organization. So uh, you know, he, he's a guy with some uh, aspirations for you know leadership, and uh, we'll see what happens. And you were also in Azriel and Nephilim with Andrew, right? Yeah, I was correct. <laughs> <laughs> With, with this Someone guy. Stand off here. <laughs> right? <laughs> Nobody move! <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Alright. So, so, but you're having a good time? I'm having a great time. Okay, cool. Creep has been a uh, great director. Because I was holding on you until you gave me a compliment. Yes. And now that you did, we could go. <laughs> and you weren't even fishing for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Rachel Grubb! It's Rachel Grubb! She's here. <laughs> Yay! She's rubbing. I She's totally eating am. a cod platter. Yeah. Which is the same as a fish platter. Yes, it is. Okay. Damn right. Cod. So, um, what character are you playing in this film? I am playing Edie. Can you tell me about Edie? She sounds awesome. She's super awesome. Um, I sort of, like, pick clothes that would sort of look like Edie Sedgwick, because that's her name, so I thought that'd be really cool. And she is, like, the madam. And I guess if you could call her that. She's she's kind of badass. She's like older than the other girls and she's kind of tough. And I like her. How is she tough? She kind of, I don't know, she kind of hides when she's afraid. She's able to like try to keep it together when she's freaked out and just, you know, stay calm. Do you see any of your own characteristics in this character? I don't know. I think I get freaked out really easily. <laughs> so you can see yourself running down an alley in heels. Well, yeah, that I'm really good in heels. I can I can definitely do that. I have high arches, so I'm much more comfortable in heels than I am in regular. Arches. 
Okay, now, before we go any further, yeah. I need you to tell me and everyone watching about the evening when you were 16 years old. Oh, and you met Love and Rockets? Yes. Oh, I was like, well, because I was actually 19, Amy was 17. This is my BFF from high school, Amy. And we were, we went... Amy, wave. Hi. And wow, she's so into this story. Go ahead. <laughs> she's shy. She's never been on camera before. This is her first movie. She's doing makeup for us. Oh, and this is your first movie? Sure is. Oh, cherries. And, um, Broken. <laughs> so, okay. well, she and I flew all the way out to Portland because, like, oh. I met this dude on the internet that was like, oh, I'm working at this. <laughs> I work at this club and Lone Rockets is going to play and we'll get you backstage. Because that so, was a good idea, right? Yeah, yeah that seems, that, that that seems safe. I, I, see, that's the thing, but it worked out okay. It did. Like, we, we, you know, we were went, always okay. No we were totally okay. We were together. We were together. And so he totally did. He got us into the concert for free and we got to go backstage. And like we walked... We walked backstage, and the first thing that happened was this guy stepped forward and like handed us both beers, which was so cool because we were teenagers. And what kind of beer was it? It was Guinness. And where was the can from? Vermont. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and and guess, where's that can now? Guess who it was that In handed my house. us that can. <laughs> what? Guess who it was? Like, after the guy handed us the can, we realized that he was Daniel Ash <gasps> from Love and Rockets. Oh my like, gosh. It was a guitarist from Bah House, which Amy and I loved. Oh, and so, Tones on Tail. <laughs> Yeah, and Toes on Tail, too, of course. And that crappy Daniel Ash DJ techno shit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, we love you, Daniel. You try so hard. Well, you know, D Dave Navarro, I was watching him on Howard Stern, and they asked him, who do you think are the top three best guitarists of all time? And one that he mentioned was Daniel Ash. Really? Yeah. Because I really like him, but I would never put him in that category. Would you? Yeah, well, because when he plays in Bauhaus, he doesn't do like a lot of really complicated, impressive guitar stuff. He makes a really cool noise. Like, with his yeah, he's just a noisy dude. Yeah, he's a noisy dude. Yeah, well, okay. but, that was, but that was what Dave Navarro said. He said he's not maybe... So what did Daniel Ash do to you after he gave you beer? He said, Happy Christmas! And he hung out with us, and we got to meet... We listened to David Bowie with yeah, them. Yeah, we listened to David Bowie with them. We and he took about. pictures with us. What David Bowie song did you hear with him? I think it was a Space Oddity album, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was a Space Oddity. We listened to dude, Radiohead too, Dude, he is just making too, me... Yeah. Oh, dude, Radiohead. he's like losing so many points right now. They like Radiohead. You don't I'm just like, kidding. You don't like I like Pablo Boy. Honey, and that's all I'm going to say. You don't like Radiohead? I think it was... I just was, said I like Pablo I Honey, and that's all I'm going to say. Honey. Well, yeah, because you were 16. That was the only no, 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 Radiohead no, no, album that was out. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, but yeah, he, but he was listening to David Bowie like big surprise. The guitarist from Bauhaus listens to David Bowie like. But the Space that. Oddity album that, that was a strange pick, but that's okay. Whatever. Yeah. In my head, I thought. Yeah, it was, it was like so cool. We were like the luckiest teenagers ever because we got to hang out with. Our but do you know how many sixteen-year-old girls I know who've gotten into tour buses and backstage at kind of big band shows? and drink beer in Wiener. Why you gotta ruin like, it for us? No, I'm just saying, it's just like, if I was a 16-year-old girl, I would have met all sorts of cool rock stars. Well, we weren't that kind of 16-year-old girls. What kind of 16-year-old girls am I even referring to? Do you even know? <laughs> so if nothing happened, he played you David Bowie and Radiohead got you drunk, and then he said, okay, see you later, buy my next album. We it's not gonna really be good. Get drunk, like, the guy that I knew, like, actually worked at... I, I opened the beer. I didn't actually drink it there because I knew the club could get in a lot of trouble because I was underage. Like my friend, he came back. He's like, "You're getting drunk." I'm like, "No, it's cool. I'm not drinking anything." I drank mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then I stuffed it in my coat like it didn't happen. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey. And no one can put it down. Hi. Hey. This is Matt. Yes. And you play Ty. Ty. So tell me about it. T um, tell me about Ty, because you look very dapper, young man. Yes. Tell me about Ty. I've been Ty. getting that a lot lately. Yeah. I think it's the hat. <laughs> well, uh, the hat looks good with the jacket, which looks good with the scarf, which looks good with the ensemble. So it works. Uh, yes. Uh, well, Ty is one of the... Yes? ...members <laughs> of the group, and uh, he's kind of like, I don't know... Almost like the right hand man, maybe. Like behind. Uh, Do you feel like the guys in the crew are kind of fighting over who gets to be the right hand man? 
I like, think, well, it's always like a... Yeah, they're, they're always trying to one up the other because they do want to be number one behind the boss. Yeah. What was the name of the game you played today? Oh, I don't remember now. I don't but think we... it looked kind of <laughs> girly-ish and it doesn't even look manly, really. Well, I think it's just the way you do it. You it's know, like, it's, it's, it's like knocking some fucker over. Yeah. So that's it, okay. It may, might be good practice for like offensive linemen or something. So how was your how was your first day of shooting? Was it cool? Oh yeah. Yeah. Good times. Yep. Cool I, man. And I always have to. And you what? Oh, I have to freshen up on my lines before I do it. So, but I. Well, yeah, dude. Uh, you, know, you got you. I got it though. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. Oh, excuse me. Hey, how's it going? What'd you do today? Oh my gosh, I got coffee. Uh huh. That was awesome. For who? Um, some guy that is uh. like. <laughs> that didn't look like a finger from here. God, I <laughs> just met him today. I'm not really sure who he is. <laughs> oh, that's that's cool. Oh, that's okay, scary that's looking. Look you. how scary that looks. Look at look at come here. Look. How scary that looks. <laughs> Are you scratching my glasses? Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Well, you did really good. That was a great cup of coffee. Are you smoke? Rock? I have, I have cigarettes. Yeah. It's so Betty Robinson! Yes! How's it going? Good. How good? Pretty good. I got food. I'm happy. You got the fish platter, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that is just cod. Now I, uh, now I have to tell the story again. I ordered the fish and chips, and the guy's like, looks at the thing, he's like, it's cod. I'm like, it's a fish. And what did he say when you said that? Was he confused? I don't know confused? what he said, but I think inside he thought, what a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not going there right now. <laughs> so how was your flight? Um, it was a red eye. I didn't sleep, so I said, I guess I'm sleeping today. Uh-huh. And the whole carry-on. Spirit Airlines charges you for any carry. Spirit Airlines is a bunch of fuck shit, huh? Yeah, that's some bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. You heard it from Mindy Robinson. And then it's two ways. Spirit to go back sucks. Home. Yeah. <laughs> Fifty to a hundred dollars to take a carry-on. It's not that's a bunch of bullshit. Ticket. They tried to screw some old people right in front of me. Really? It was, it was horrible. Did you yeah. Them or did you just watch it? No, I totally fucking yelled at him. I'm like, no, dude, your website is fucked. And he's like, no, it's not. And I'm like, yeah, it is. And he's like, no, it's not. And I'm like, oh, I see how this is going. And he said, uh-huh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I, got my, I got my black girl out. And I said, mm-hmm. I took off my hoops, took off my pumps. Don't act like you know me. Right? So you are playing the lead role of Maya. It's true. So tell me about Maya. Okay. But I think she's the most awesome character to ever live. So, like, I'm so honored that, that, that side, she gets uh, to be played by local You did what? I'm happy to be in it. That's good. We're happy to have you here. Sorry if those are my balls on your elbow, Joe. <laughs> You're kind of in my way. <laughs> There's some loud talkers behind me, and I'm trying to make sure I get your voice. Wow. Which is okay. It's true. I don't project. You don't project at all. No, I don't. Oh, hey! Hey! hey. How's it going? Oh, wow! It's oh, I'm, the, I'm it's the ukulele right. player. I am. I'm. I'm a. I'm a uk, ukulele, right? You're an ukulele, ukulele player. Ukulele. That's what I guess it's pronounced that way, really. So. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I, I did stuff. I did stuff today. It was good. You did great. What did I do? I picked up people. I picked up people. I gave yeah. people coffee. I offered coffee at least. Too. Yes, I enjoy awesome. coffee. Oh man, a day without coffee. Coffee is a day too. Look at this. Not that yeah. looks like a beer. You thought I was getting you a yeah. leaner shot, huh? No, I'm just looking in your beer hole. Yeah. Which could also be a dick <laughs> reference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. That was great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of this. I'm, I'm Yay. Crazy. It's awesome. Everything's great. Yay. Yay. It was awesome. And look at all these <laughs> Kinkeshis from Japan. We're going to have a big old Kinkeshi orgy in a little bit. It's going to be so much fun. Right now? Yeah, you're right. Right now. Right now. Right <laughs> So now, what did you do today? I, uh, today, uh, I acted uh, uh, Al. Uh-huh. And uh, he's a very good guy. 
and every color and nice. And he always, you know, but he's a thug. Yeah, <laughs> right. You're right. Yeah. So he's the nicest of the bad guys. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's why I like it. I like yeah, it. you did really good. Yeah, that was awesome. Much, good yeah. scene. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. Wow, that light is on. Right. Well, everybody, I'm Creep, and this was my show, and that was the end of day one of the movie. Woo! Yeah, I thought he was bright. Yeah. You didn't say bright, did you? Yeah. I, didn't hear, I can't even see you. Oh. Is that how it was? You couldn't see me? I can't even see you. I'm almost all in there. That's what she said. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. There it is. Places that kind of look like, you know, downtown, swampy. What? There are a couple places around here that have apartment buildings that look like downtown, little slummy. All right, yeah, let's do it. So, seven, seven, three or seven They're just going to be in the car and then she gets out. Dialogue dialogue in the car. Okay. Wait, yeah. no dialogue in the car? Dialogue in the car and then she gets out. Okay. All right. Well, um, we somehow managed to wrap early. I think it's like 6 o'clock or something. Might even be earlier than that. And... We wrapped day three a little bit early, so we're going to try to get some stuff that was supposed to be done uh, tomorrow morning, so we have more time for tomorrow. And then maybe we'll go do Rocky Horror tonight in Minneapolis. Yay! So that's the idea. That's the plan. So yeah. Oh my god. It's really early. And it's the last day of the shoot. We got this. 17 scenes to go. We will be on set at the junkyard location within the hour. And we get to see a bunch of people get killed and we get to splatter blood and all sorts of shit. So... Oh, look at that. I got a little bit of my powdered donut on my mouth. So yeah, so this is going to be good. Let's take a look at Johnny doing his lines. <laughs> Alright, peace. So apparently this backyard is my confessional. Um, like on a reality show. See my new hat? Because someone stole my hat, it says Hati. And on the back it says It's a girl thing. Yeah. <clears throat> so I froze myself to death, and so did Mindy. And um, it was really bad. So now I'm wearing my my jammies and my cool socks but um we've wrapped a lot of people um Mindy just has to do some killing now then we're all done it's all good all right see you later mm -hmm.